Rihanna, some questions remain after this week's Superior Court decision that struck down a state law giving tax breaks to Atlantic City's casinos. It is the second ruling against the pilot law in the last few months. The Superior Court ruled that the revamped pilot law was passed on dubious grounds and violated the state constitution. Last year, at the request of the casino industry, the state legislature changed the pilot or payment in lieu of property taxes program, reducing the amount casinos had to pay to Atlantic City and the county. But as the casinos argued for tax relief, the industry was rebounding, according to reporting from Press of Atlantic City, as part of ProPublica's local reporting initiative. Reporter Allison Berto tells me what the casinos now have to pay the local government is unclear. Right now, these two cases leave us at a little bit of a uh confusion as to what the next payment from the casinos will be. They make these pilot payments on a quarterly basis. And um, I reached out to state regulators and they did not get back to me to clarify what we should expect from the casinos for their property tax payment in the next quarter. Meantime, the Casino Association of New Jersey declined to comment on the ruling the state is planning to appeal. Real estate prices have soared in recent years in Jersey City, making home ownership unattainable for some residents. But there is a program to help. Jersey City is now accepting applications for its first-time homebuyer program, which helps low- and moderate-income residents buy a home in the city. Jersey City residents who qualify will be entered into a lottery selection process. If chosen, the city provides down payment assistance and closing costs of up to $150,000. On Wall Street, the stock market just had its worst August in seven years. Here's a look at how stocks fared on this first day of September. I'm Rhonda Schaffler, and those are your top business stories.